Hey everybody, Mike Chavez here once again. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. All right, y'all, my Gravity 980. I've made all kinds of things with it. Ribs, uh, chicken, pizza, uh, country ribs, spare ribs, Korean ribs, wings. Uh, did some pork belly burn ends. Those were really good, y'all. Go back and check that. Oh man, those were good. Did some... Um, chuck roast burn ends but the one thing i have not done on this besides a brisket is pulled pork barbecue so i've got a nice pork butt we're going to put this thing out here we're going to do it hot and fast so we're going to start out 300 degrees on the cooker we're going to put our pork butt out there we're going to let her get up to about 165 internal this is a pretty big pork butt so it might take a while hopefully not too long so right now it's like eight o'clock in the morning we're gonna get started hopefully we'll be done by dinner time okay so y'all stand by let's check it out <laughs> all right let's do it all right y'all we're gonna keep it simple today what i got here is a big large pork butt so this pork butt right here weighs about ten and a half pounds but it was MVP at food line 99 cents a pound So we only paid ten dollars and thirty eight cents uh, Really didn't want to cook one quite this big <clears throat> It's gonna take some time and so we're gonna unwrap this Dry it off bring you back and we'll rub it down All right, so this pork butt Got a lot of fat on it we Might take a little bit of this It's almost like silver skin Get some of this off. Get you a good sharp knife. All right. Now, on the back of this bad boy, it's got this one's got a pretty thick fat cap. So I think I'm going to remove a little bit of this. Usually I don't bother with the fat caps if they're not too thick. But this one's kind of thick, so we don't need all that. So let's get some of it off. We want to leave some on here. So what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to take part of this today and pull it for sandwiches. Then I'm going to vacuum seal the rest of it. <clears throat> We're going to my daughter's house up in Maryland for Thanksgiving. I'm going to take some of this. Of course, we're not going to eat this for Thanksgiving, but it'll be like pre-Thanksgiving. I'm going to go up there a couple of days early up to Maryland, way up around Aberdeen, Maryland. So, let me go ahead and get some of this off. We don't need all this fat here, y'all. Ain't necessary. And this way it'll keep my cooker a little cleaner. I'll have all that fat down inside my cooker. Plenty of fat inside these pork butts now. This whole, this pork butt's interspersed with fat all right i think that's enough so let me go throw this away now if you want to you can coat this in mustard or whatever you like but today i've got some uh i want to use this up i got my cosmos hot cow cover I got a bunch of that left. Or not a bunch. There's a little bit left. So we're going to use this up. So we're going to do... Got to have a good rub, y'all. So you can get your... Uh, get your good bark. Kind of pat it down. Flip it around. That about got it. A little something left in there. Not much. Now, I'm going to top that off with Cosmo's Honey Killer Bee. All right, so let's put this on here. This is going to give us some sugar, some sweetness. A lot. All right, so we're going to let this rub sweat. 
get a little excess on the tray. We'll get it on there. Now, gonna go get the cooker fired up. So I will see y'all out at the cooker. All right, y'all, so today, starting out, got some B&B. &B. We finally found some at Ace Hardware. At the other side of town. So, we still have a little bit of B&B &B left in the bottom. So let me get this bag open here. There we go. So this B&B &B <clears throat> is all oak uh, charcoal briquettes. It's, um, it doesn't have a whole lot of filters and stuff. So down inside we've got, um, see if you can see, I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not, but down in the bottom there's some charcoal left over from my last cook. So what I'm going to do is set some hickory wood on top of it. All right. So I'm going to put a good amount. I want lots of smoke on this uh, pork butt. So we'll put some hickory wood down in there. Put some more B&B &B on top. All right, another layer of wood. Now this cook's gonna last a long time. So what I'm gonna do is fill this thing up completely. So let's see if you can see this, my layers. So we've got wood, charcoal, or charcoal, wood, charcoal, wood. All right. So we're gonna put some more charcoal. A little more wood. Top it off with charcoal. So what we gotta do, you gotta slide right here. You gotta make sure that slide comes out. Okay, you gotta open the vent for the fan. Shoot, empty this. So let's go ahead and knock some of the ash out. There might be a little more ash underneath. A few bumps. That way we got raw charcoal up top. Get rid of that. Take a fat tumbleweed. There's a little shelf in here. Just stick your tumbleweed down on your shelf, about right the middle of it, and we'll fire it up. So I got my little torch. So let's go in here and fire this tumbleweed up. There we go. All right, y'all, these charcoals are fully engaged. Or they're lit on the bottom, so we'll shut the top. We'll come down here. Shut the bottom ash bin. So all these doors have to be shut. And the fan comes on. <clears throat> set our temp. Hit the temp button. We're going to crank this up to 300. Here we go. 300 degrees. Push the button. Shut the lid. So we got our app. So right now, set temp is 300. Current cooker temp is 120. I'm gonna let this thing get up to 300 degrees and I'll let her sit for about 
15-20 minutes to warm the whole cooker up then we'll bring the butt out all right see you in a minute all right y'all the cooker is up to temp it's been warming up for about 10 20 minutes you do a little maintenance here a little clean up So this butt is sweated really good. So fat side up. There we go. Clean my hands up a bit. So we'll get our meat probe. Got a little grommet here. So, I'm gonna put this towards the middle of that hunk of meat. And we'll let this thing go. Shut the lid. So, 44 degrees on that meat. 293 on the cooker and that's because the door was open it'll come back up to 300 so we want to get that 42 up to about uh, 165 then we'll wrap this thing up with aluminum foil and let her cook till she gets to about 210 215 something like that till it's nice and soft all right y'all it's been about four hours four and a half hours the uh temp of the meat according to my app see if you can see it it's 167 degrees uh the cooker still at uh is it 297 still set at 300 so uh we're gonna wrap it up So I got a double layer of foil here. Let's take a look. Oh man, that thing's looking awesome. Y'all see that? Let's see here. I can bring you in, get a good look. Look at that bad boy. All right. So we're gonna take this thing gonna double wrap it and get this uh, meat probe off for a second oh set it about in the middle so I got a double layer of foil here and I'm gonna need it there's a big old hunk of meat Seal it up really nice. Let's see here. Get it about as tight as you can. Put it back on. So we'll put the meat probe back in. Try not to hit the bone when you go in. Yeah, see, that's going to want to hit the bone right there. Let me try it from the front. All right, there we go. So I'm going to let this go till we hit around 200, 210. All right, y'all, this has been wrapped for about four hours, four more hours. So this has been on here. 10, 30, 11, 30, 12, 31, 32, 33, 34, 30. It's been on here about seven, seven and a half hours. So, 
showing 203 on the food probe here so let's see what we're feeling like with the filling pin yeah, I'm hitting the bone that feels nice and soft oh man 204 nice and soft yeah this is ready to go so I'm gonna go get the uh, I'm gonna get this off of here So what we need to do, let me back this out. So we're gonna get this off of here. We're gonna take it in the house. We're gonna put a towel on it or over it and let it sit. Right. So let's take this on in. All right then, y'all. So I'm gonna make my standard vinegar sauce. Got me a nice pot and turn the heat on. <clears throat> Apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar. So I don't measure this. So I'm gonna say one, two, a little more, about two cups. White vinegar. We're going to say one cup, maybe less, three quarters of a cup. Crushed red pepper flakes, about a teaspoon and a half on it. Whatever rub you're using, um, I used all my hot cow cover, so I'm going to put some of the uh, Cosmos uh, Honey Killer Bee in here. So let's go with about a tablespoon on in. A little more seasoning. It's incredible. I love my It's Incredible. We'll put about a little over a teaspoon. Of, it's incredible in there. All right, so now this is all vinegar. We want to cut it a little bit. So I'll pour it in eight ounces of apple juice. I put in a tablespoon of brown sugar. Shot of ketchup for color. So we're going to bring this to a boil. We'll shut it off and just let it sit. In the meantime, we'll make our uh, coleslaw up. All right, y'all. All right then. So we got it in the house. I'm gonna put some more foil on it. Tuck it in, another piece of foil. Put this back here. Take some towels. These are just kitchen towels, just for insulation. Put that back up there, just for insulation. Put a couple towels on it. Tuck it in. Put this thing to bed a couple hours, then we'll get it pulled. All right, y'all, let's unveil this. Been smelling good up in here for the last couple hours. Had this thing covered for at least two hours. But I would suggest when you do a, a pork butt, you want to let it sit, rest, for as long as you can stand it. So, two, oh man, I can smell this thing. Good gracious. All right, let's open her up. See what we got. Still piping hot.
All right. So, the way I'm going to do this, let me turn this around. All right. So I'm going to pull it and put it on the bun as I pull it. This is the best way to do it. A few sauce. So we put the vinegar sauce in a mason jar. So, let me see here. Let me get in here. Look at that. Oh my goodness. That is like so soft and nice. A little bark. Put it straight on the bun. Let me bring you over here a little bit. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Just a little bit more. Look at that. All right. Get a little vinegar sauce. So I guess the way I need to do this, just put some vinegar sauce right on there. There we go. A little coleslaw. Then around here, when I say around here, I mean around my house, we like to put our Texas Pete on there. A little Texas Pete. Put the lid on, give it a little press, and there we go. See y'all. All right, y'all, here we go. Look at this thing, look at that thing. Oh my goodness. It's been a while. Here we go. Let me see if I can get my mouth open that big. <laughs> Y'all ready for this? Man, I've been looking forward to this since 9.30 this morning when it went on. Right now it's 7 o'clock at night. Nice pulled pork sandwich. You got some... Uh, Carolina style vinegar sauce and coleslaw on a nice soft roll. Y'all ready? <laughs> Here we go. Taste! <clears throat> Ma'am? You talk about good. Oh my goodness. You don't need teeth for this. Soft. Smoky. Full of flavor. Mmm. Mm -mm. Ain't nothing like good pulled pork. Pulled pork barbecue. Around here. All you gotta say is, I, I, I'd like a barbecue, please, and this is what you get. Don't get any better than that, folks. So I appreciate y'all watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. Any comments, suggestions, questions, leave them below. And as always, if you haven't done it yet, I appreciate you subscribing, coming back, visit me again. So see y'all next time. Bye, everybody.